This is awesome. Now that we're rich, our lives are going to be so much better. You sure it was such a good idea to cash that lottery check? It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! All right. Yeah, money! <laughs> Woo! All right, time to make all those popular kids pay for ignoring me. Uh, Peter, no, you're just a normal high school kid. Oh. Hey, Lance, it, it, it's off, it's off, it's off, it's off. Throw this phone away, Lois. All right, men, this is Harry the homosexual. Say hi to everyone, Harry. Hi, fellas. I sure do love being gay. Harry's choice of lifestyle is wrong, so we're going to beat him up for it. Now, take these baseball bats and get to it. <gasps> oh. All right, good so far. No, 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 don't use the bats like that. No, no, don't use them like that either. All right, look, just put them down and use your fists. No, 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 not like that. Hey, Lois, I'd like you to meet our new friend... Jerome? Loose Lois. What? You guys know each other? Know each other? Peter, Jerome is an old boyfriend of mine. What? Oh, sorry I was out of it. Wait, are we being robbed? Ah, and this is Peter and I at our wedding. Oh, you look beautiful. And he's a handsome fella, ain't he? Well, I am ready for my evening. Oh, my God, Peter, what the hell? Peter, what are you doing? Oh, surely, Jerome, you don't want to stay in the same house as a ghost who carries a torch around. Ooh, fire ghost. Ooh, you scared yet? Didn't know this place was haunted, did you? Hospital! Don't worry, Brian, I'll save you. I'm good in a crisis. After all, I used to work the suicide hotline. I... I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. And I just... <laughs> I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? Look, Peter, if you're that hungry, go down to the dock and find Daddy, and we'll get dinner started. You're not going to get dinner started. She's going to tell that sloppy old Spanish maid to do it. And she will, but only because she needs money to pay for medicine for her prematurely overweight son, Diabito. Mama, may I have cookie? No, Diabito. Roll back to kitchen. Oh! Jeez, look at those two. They're going at each other like an Italian guy and a black woman. Hey, you can't park here! Excuse me? Having been officially challenged by her natural enemy, the black female prepares for combat by taking off her many rings. Meanwhile, the Italian male looks around to make sure the other Italian males are indeed seeing what he is seeing. Sensing the impending battle, a flock of Jews flies quickly away, as avoiding confrontation is their best chance for survival. Yeah, Dad, it's crazy. Like JFK deciding to cruise through Dallas in a rental. How'd that convertible work out for you? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Good. Okay. And did you get all your stuff out of the car? Kind of. Now, did you get a look at the man who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get a description? Yeah, he was probably around 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, Which is it, 5'9 or 5'10"? I'd say 5'10". Okay, we'll go 5'9 and a half. And now, how old was he? Late 30s, maybe 37. Uh, I don't know, anywhere between 35 and 40. Okay, well, let's say 37. How, how about ethnicity? Yeah, he was Asian American. Asian American. Are we talking Korean? Are we talking Thai? Are we talking Vietnamese? Maybe Korean. Uh, could have been Japanese, but, but I, I think Korean. Okay, Korean. Now, how about identifying characteristics? Any any marks, piercings? He may have had a tattoo. He may have had a tattoo? Did have a tattoo? Which one was it? I, I don't know. It, it, it all happened so fast. You know what? It's fine. I have a preliminary sketch here. Is this the man who assaulted you? Why are they selling all those DVDs so cheap? Because, Chris, DVDs are outdated and obsolete, like white track stars. On your marks, get set, white guys, go! I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. So I hired a math tutor and a driver's ed guy. Okay, so do you use my car, or do you have, like, a special one you brought? Um, I'm the math tutor. Really? No way! So that means you're the... Driver's ed instructor, yes. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. <laughs> All right, time to learn math from a black guy, I guess. <sighs> oh, my God, they're even taking down a mosquito netting. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz, buzz, buzz. This is a 1950s insane asylum. They use old mattresses to pad the walls of the cells. 
May I help you? Yes, 1950s doctor. Me and my friends are looking for... Your friends with a Negro and a cripple? This man is insane. Take him away. Uh, now, wait a second. You can't do that to... A Negro speaking up to a white person? This man is insane. Uh, uh, now, look, I don't think... All cripples are insane. Euthanize this man. Uh, Something I can help you with? Yeah, you got any brain-dead women in there you let people have sex with for a few bucks? Sure, come on back. Come on, Dan, let's get a drink. Ha, it's great to see you back in your element tonight, surrounded by semen. <laughs> semen. Say, Quagmire, I told you he's gay. Shut up, Peter. Hey, you Dan's boy? That's right. Your dad was very brave back in Southeast Asia. He flew supplies in where others wouldn't dare to go. I can't tell you how many loads your dad took when I served with him. Huh? Glenn, I wouldn't miss this night for the world. Everyone here admires your dad. He'd walk into an army barracks and make every private there feel important. Yeah, he just knew how to stroke those privates. Oh, God. Your dad was cock of the walk, Glenn. Every day at rifle training, he'd help me clean my butt. Your dad once drank me under the table. If there was one man you wanted in your hole, it was your dad. Your dad had the best penis in the military. Okay, just stop! Stop! Everybody stop! 